Hello. Today we are going to do a very quick revision on Form 1, Chapter 3, Mathematics, which is square, square roots, cube and cube roots. So this first part we are going to focus on square and square roots. So we start off, we try to evaluate, means to find the value of 5 squared, 5 times 5. 5 squared means 5 times 5 equals to 25. Or you can just use a calculator, you press 5 squared, you can get 25. Negative 7 squared means negative 7 multiplies by negative 7. And the answer is negative times negative, you get a positive number. 7 times 7, you get 49. 1.4 squared means 1.4 times 1.4, you get 1.96. Negative 0.3 squared means negative 0.3 times negative 0.3. Negative times negative, you get positive. 0.3 times 0.3, you get 0.09. This one means 1 over 5 times 1 over 5. You get 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 25. For this uh, fraction, Mixed number fraction, you need to change it to improper fraction. So 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5. 5 over 4. And then squared it, it means 5 over 4 squared, which means 5 over 4 times 5 over 4. 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 4 is 16. Even though we can use calculator to get the answers, but you need to know the basic concept. To, or how to get the values manually. Next, 1 squared, you get 1. 2 squared, you get 4. 3 squared, you get 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared you, means 4 times 4, which is 16. All these numbers are called perfect squares. So the definition is, perfect squares are numbers which are the squared of whole numbers. So if we go on, 5 squared, 5 times 5, you get 25. 6 squared, 6 times 6, you get 36. So all these numbers are called perfect squares. Even though you can get these values from calculators, but it's better you get familiar with these numbers. Question 3. Evaluate the value of square root of 25. So the square root of 25 actually means we want to find the value. When we square it, we get 25. So what number, when it times itself, you get 25. So five times five is equals to 25. So the square root of 25 is equals to five. So square root of 144 means finding the value which, when it squared itself, it gets the value of 144. So what number times what number you get 144? It is 12 times 12. So the answer is 12. 0 0.09 is actually 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. So the answer here is 0 0.3. Square root of 0 0.25 is actually equals to 0 0.5. Square root of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So the answer is 0 0.5. Square root of 1 over 16 is actually the square root of 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 4 is 16. So the answer is 1 over 4. And lastly, the mixed number, we always change it to improper fraction. 9 times 1 plus 7, you get the square root of 16 over 9. So the square root here applies to both numerator and denominator. So we need to find both. 16 is actually equal to 4 times 4. 9 is 3 times 3. So we can rewrite this as 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. And so the answer is 4 over 3. Question number 4. Evaluate a square root of 5 times square root of 5. So according to the formula, 
the square root of a times square root of a is equals to a. So square root of 5, 5 here is denoted by a, 5 is a, so the answer is 5. The same applies to this square root of 2 over 3 times square root of 2 over 3 is actually 2 over 3. And for this, we use another formula which is the square root of a times the square root of b is actually equals to square root of a times b, which is a b. So for here, square root of 2 times 8, which is square root of 16. So the square root of 16 is, 16 is 4 times 4, square root of 4 times 4 is 4. And square root of 50 times square root of 2 is actually square root of 50 times 2, which is square root of 100. So 100, the square root of 100 is the square root of 10 times 10, so the answer is 10. Okay, question number 5. Find the values of the followings. So this is a mixed operation involving square root and squared numbers. So we can start off by finding the, the values of each individual terms. The square root of 9 is 3. Multiplies. Square root of 16 is 4. Minus. The square root of 2 is 4. And multiply the square, the square root of 1 over 2, which is 1 over 4. So after we find the values of all the terms, we use the board mass rule to help us in the next step. So we start off with the multiplication from the left to the right. Eleven. Question number six. Given the area of a square is 64 centimeters squared, find the length of the side of the square. So this means that the square, the area of the square is 64 centimeters squared. To find the length of the side, length of the side means it refers to length of the side. To find the length of the sides, we square root 64. So it's equal to square root of 64. So the 64 is 8 times 8. So it's 8 times 8, which is 8. Don't forget the units in centimeter squared, so the unit is supposed to be centimeter. Question 7. The perimeter of a square is 28 centimeter. What is the area of the square? So perimeter of a square. So given the square means the side is the same, the perimeter means the total of the sides. When you add a total of the sides, you get 28 cm. So find the area of the square. So to get one side, it is 28 divided by 4. 7. So 7 cm is the sides of the square. To find the area, area of a square equals to the square of the side, which is 7 squared. 7 times 7, which is 49 centimeters squared unit.